California and New Jersey spent decades as beacons of opportunity to the entire world. Now people can't flee them fast enough. In California, houses are unaffordable, needles pile up on the streets. The middle class has been displaced by an unending wave of low-paid illegal immigrants. More than 100,000 people are spending the night tonight on the sidewalk in California. But Democratic Senators Kamala Harris and Cory Booker have a solution, smoke more weed. I am proud to formally announce that I'm signing on to the Marijuana Justice Act. It's the smart thing to do, it's the right thing to do. Two of the last three presidents admitted to using drugs. Congress people, senators have admitted to using marijuana. But there are other communities for which it's completely criminalized. It's, it's time they were not only legalized marijuana in our states, but expunged the records of those who have been carrying that burden of past convictions for too long. All because of their use of a drug that otherwise should be considered legal. Get high, it's a civil rights victory. Ethan Behrman is a California radio show host and joins us tonight. Ethan, great to see you. I just want to preface our conversation by saying that I don't think people who smoke weed should be in jail. I think the drug war hasn't worked very well, like gun control, banning something doesn't make it go away. Um, and I think that alcohol is in a lot of ways worse than marijuana. So I'll, I believe all that. I'm just amazed that now the ruling class is basically having failed to take care of its own people is telling them maybe you should smoke more weed and become more passive and less concerned by our failures. I don't really think that's an accident, do you? Well, I don't think that they're telling us to smoke more weed. I think that people are smoking weed, and I think uh, 80 years of reefer madness hasn't stopped people from smoking weed. Yeah, I agree. Uh, and as you already pointed out, it's, it's not worse than alcohol. If, any, if anything, there are numerous uh, potential medical benefits of marijuana that yeah. we haven't even studied because it's been a Schedule One drug. We need to get rid of that, uh, that, that classification, legalize it. Look, states like Colorado have generated over a quarter billion dollars a year in taxes. Oh. Oh, to support the state government. So, enough, so that's part of no, you're making my case for me. And by the way, I think we should fully explore the potential health benefits of cannabinoids. I mean, I, I, why wouldn't we? We should. Of course we should. And there probably are big ones. I'm all for that. But why shouldn't I be suspicious when over 100,000 Californians are sleeping outside tonight because people like Kamala Harris have done a terrible job taking care of their own people. And her solution is, hey, smoke more weed. So why can have more money in the tax coffers and you will be less likely to stage a revolution against my bad leadership? I'm not paranoid. That seems like an obvious bread and circuses ploy to me. Well, she's a pretty new senator, uh, so I don't I can't. Well, she I don't was think it's just she's been feet, but I think elected statewide for a long time, as you know. Well, I mean, the attorney general, but, but, but what we have with the homeless population, there is a lot of care that is needed there. And if some of that revenue go, goes towards psychological care, addiction care, I think that's a wonderful thing. So if the people are already smoking marijuana or consuming it, eating it, edibles, whatever, CBD oil, let's legalize tax, regulate, get it out of the shadows. How about this? Oh. That defunds the cartels because who's bringing it across the border illegally? Those are cartels. You want to stop them. It's, I'm sure it's not that, it's not like that simple, actually, because cartels cartels are, you know, it's just, it's just a market. And when the price of anything goes up, if you can undercut it illegally, you'll do that. You see that with cigarettes, which are widely bootlegged because of high tax rates. So it's actually not quite as simple as you're making it. But here's the point. Let's not compare marijuana to alcohol. I agree it's less harmful. I don't drink. But let's not do that. Let's compare it to sobriety being aware and awake and fully experiencing your life and maybe fighting back against misused power. People who are high don't do that, let's be honest, and you know that. Well, but if they're busy drinking beer, is that any different? So if we're going to do but why morality, do we want more prohibition didn't work. No, but I'm not well, calling for prohibition. Just I'm just saying why I, I shouldn't we... I be suspicious? These people have failed their own people, and then they're encouraging us to smoke more weed. You don't see the connection at all. I, I, don't, I don't believe anybody is encouraging people to smoke more weed unless you have cancer and you're not able to keep food down during your chemotherapy, which is a wonderful side benefit of using cannabis. I don't smoke it either, Tucker, and, but I see the benefits uh, med medicinally for a lot of people who benefit. Also, again, uh, if it's one of those situations where people are already doing it and criminal elements are benefiting from it, bringing it out into the sunlight is the ideal solution. Yeah, and the government to that should be problem. getting rich on it. <laughs> 
that's what it is. Well, we have no idea rich, how to balance but, but the it's budget. Just a revenue source. Buy more weed. Oh, it's so depressing. I know you agree with me deep down, Ethan. We're out of time, sadly. Thank you. Thanks, Tucker. Hi, everybody. My name is Mike. This is my YouTube page, Mox News. Okay, so uh, the neighbor's mowing his lawn. Sorry for the background noise. Um, but uh, <clears throat> I just want to say that uh, Tucker is a fool. Tucker, is, he's not really a fool, but he is totally acting like it on this one. He's acting like, oh, sobriety is, is, the, is the key to life. You know, <clears throat> that is not what it means to be top of the food chain. Top of the food chain means, ooh, I like it when I do this. Ooh, I like the way that tastes. Oh, I like wearing purple. Start wearing purple, wearing purple. Um, just saying that, uh, you know, it's about freedom and choices and enjoying your life the way you choose. And Tucker's a libertarian. He claims to be libertarian. And, and, and he's just playing the fool on this part. But, but the, the problem is, is that he's spreading this reefer madness bullshit that we have fought for, for generations. For generations and generations. The movie Reefer Madness was made in the 1930s. We fought this forever. This, this, this depiction of... <coughs> excuse me. Had a big bunket. Um, this depiction that stoners don't fight back. They just lay on the couch and don't do anything. Well, Tucker, I've published more than 60,000 videos on YouTube for more than 700,000, 700 million views. And, and I had to fight every second of the way. Every day I have to fight to keep those videos alive. Because, because... People like you don't actually believe in freedom or the laws. And and just to, just to be real clear, okay, just to be real clear, so that, so that you can't cling to Tucker's argument that stoners don't do nothing, okay? The facts are stoners fought the man and got marijuana legalized in a bunch of states. And it wasn't people who didn't smoke marijuana who did that. It's people who love cannabis. People who believe in, in the goddess to be... It, this is the sacrament. Do you know why they don't want you to have cannabis? Because besides the fact that you'd stop drinking and you'd stop using pharmaceutical drugs and you'd stop going to the doctor... <laughs> and, and you'd stop taking tobacco, and eventually it would replace petroleum. And I know I'm leaving out a dozen more things besides the police state and the prison industrial complex and the drug war profiteers and the drug cartels. You legalize all drugs. What do they have left to sell? Guns? Come on, get a clue. The, the drug war doesn't work. It was never designed to work. It was only designed to pick on people that the government doesn't like. And one of the ways they do it is through reefer madness propaganda, saying, oh, stoners just lie around on the couch and never do anything. Well, it was stoners that got marijuana, cannabis legal. First, medical cannabis because it wasn't the fucking doctors who got it legalized okay the doctors like oh there's no medicinal value to marijuana and you know why because you stop going to the doctor once you start using it <sighs> of course there's medical qualities in marijuana and it was the stoners that had to fight all the bullshit, all the disdain put on them by society and stand up and fight and fight and fight and say these people are full of shit for generations and we still have to put up with this reefer madness bullshit from some wannabe frat boy. 
Fuck you, Tucker Carlson, and your reefer madness propaganda bullshit.